Hi, today I wanted to answer a very important question. Many out there claim that cayenne pepper is able to stop, literally stop a heart attack in under 60 seconds. If that's true, that is amazing news for dealing with America's number one killer, which is heart disease. And specifically, uh, the majority are heart attacks. Is it true? Let's try to answer that question right now. So cayenne pepper, it contains many vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. And we know vitamins, minerals, antioxidants are excellent for heart health. They're excellent for overall general health. But where it really gets its heat is from a molecule called capsaicin. And capsaicin, what it does is it blocks this neurotransmitter known as substance P. Substance P within the body, it plays an important role as a neurotransmitter to send pain signals. And it also plays an important role in promoting inflammation in the body. Now, if you understand anything about disease, uh, we know that inflammation has a huge role in many different diseases. Heart attacks are no exemption. And so why would capsaicin uh, working on this substance P receptor be relevant? Well, that's what uh, people began to study. And so interestingly, a study performed in 2003 uncovered this about capsaicin or the quote unquote hot pepper receptors. Our study is the first to demonstrate that the hot pepper receptor exists on the heart and may be responsible for triggering heart attack chest pain. Until now, the capsaicin or hot pepper receptor was only known for sensing heat and pain from the skin. Our data suggests that the hot pepper receptors could become a new target for treatment of some types of chronic chest pain, such as angina pectoris, that are resistant to other treatments. Point number one, there are capsaicin receptors within the heart, and these receptors are being explored as targets for potential treatment of heart disease. Now, another study published in the Journal of American College of Cardiology found in a large adult Mediterranean population, regular consumption of chili pepper, chili pepper is high in capsaicin, is associated with a lower risk of total and coronary vascular disease death independent of CVD risk factors or adherence to a Mediterranean diet. One example is that they found that those who ate chili peppers over four times a week versus those who don't eat chili peppers at all had a 44% drop in deaths from heart disease and heart attacks and a 61% drop in death due to cerebrovascular disease such as strokes. So overall, there seems to be a benefit of capsaicin containing foods, not only in heart health, but also in general blood vessel health throughout the body. So if I just stopped there and a company went ahead and created a drug that could do just those very things we just talked about, drop your risk of uh, heart related events, 44%, drop your rate of cerebrovascular disease deaths by 61%. Whoever made that drug would be extremely rich. And thankfully, most everyone has access to cayenne pepper. So that's nice and all. But has it ever been studied in the setting of an acute heart attack? The answer is, yes, it has. But it was in mice. And so at the University of Cincinnati, they demonstrated that when a heart attack is induced in mice and capsaicin is topically applied the amount of heart muscle cells that died is reduced by 85%. So imagine this one substance, capsaicin, which just happens to be found in high amounts in cayenne pepper, is able to do these amazing things in mice. It seems that this would be the first on the list to study in humans given such an outstanding impact in animal studies. So right now, there is no human randomized control trial testing cayenne pepper or capsaicin creams effectiveness in preventing damage due to heart attacks and it's interesting because cayenne pepper is able to stimulate fibrinolytic or clot busting pathways within the body so how do people typically recommend using cayenne pepper for a heart attack um, they say take a half a teaspoon now this is not a medical recommendation but they say take a half a teaspoon of 90,000 heat unit or higher um, cayenne pepper now that's important. The heat unit is important because that kind of 
indicates how much capsaicin it has. Mix it in four ounces of water and just drink that completely and allow the clot busting abilities to get to work. Now, others recommend taking a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper and placing it right under the tongue and there would be a quicker absorption. So the answer to this question that we've asked regarding cayenne pepper and whether or not it's able to stop a heart attack, uh, number one, mechanistically, does it make sense? Yes, it stimulates the fibrinolytic pathways, which would break down uh, clots naturally. So if it could get into that particular area, theoretically, it should be able to do that. Uh, number two, do animal studies seem to suggest that it's able to do this in the setting of an acute heart attack? Yes, based on that study from the University of Cincinnati, it seems to be the case. Anecdotally, are people reporting success in this setting? I've heard multiple people report success in the setting of an acute heart attack. So yes, have human studies been done to confirm or reject these conclusions? And the answer is no. No human studies have been done. No randomized control trial has been done. And none are in the works as far as I know. If you've had success using cayenne pepper for these purposes, please leave your story in the comment. I'd actually love to hear um, maybe some success that you guys might have had. Thank you for watching.